hello everyone welcome back to my channel so my dear friends today i am with another important topic that is gauss seidel method as far as the mathematics one of the engineering is concerned so in the video examination this is the definite question you have to solve some equations with the this particular method that is gauss seidel method right uh, so question is solve the following equations by using gauss seidel method uh, equations are given okay so you have to take initial conditions that is 0 0 0 you have to take x value as 0 y value as 0 and z value as 0 in the first iterations you have to follow uh, you have to carry out some iterations in this problem let me tell you in the detail what we have to do with this particular method so first of all you have to arrange these equations in the proper manner in the sense that the diagonal should be dominate let me make these particular equations first here 20x so that you will understand it it easily 20x plus y minus 2z is equal to 17 okay then i will take y term so 3x plus 20y minus z is equal to minus 18 okay then i will take this one 2x plus sorry this is minus 3y plus 20z is equal to 25 why i just arranged these equations now you can see easily see the dominance of the diagonal 20x is same 20 20 20 that is uh, coefficient of these x y and z are same in the diagonal manner so you have to make it in this proper manner then name the equations as this one equation as one this as two this as three okay so first equation you have to make in terms of x let me uh, evaluate this particular equation in that particular sense that is 20 x is equal to 17 you just transpose these uh, we transfer to the right hand side these two terms y and minus 2z so y is plus here so when you just Trans, uh, when you just transfer it on the right hand side it will become minus y and minus 2z will become plus 2z so this is your equation now i can write x is equal this 20 if i transfer here it will divide 1 divided by 20 into 17 minus y plus 2z so this is your first equation okay the correction of the first equation then second equation you have to write in terms of y you have to see the diagonal element that is 20 so that i will just make on that basis so i can write second equation as <clears throat> so 20y is equal to minus 18 so this 3x will transfer here so it will become minus 3x okay and this minus z if i transfer it will become plus z over here okay then y is equal to this 20 will divide here so 1 upon 20 minus 18 minus 3x plus z this is your now second equation then third equation on that uh, 20 basis uh, so i can take out z here so 20z equation third will become 20z is equal to 25 this 2x will come out here so this will become minus 2x and minus 3y will become plus 3y so z is equal to this 20 will again divide so it will become 25 minus 2x plus 3y okay i hope it is clear so this is third equation now you have to carry out some iterations it will be mentioned in the question sometimes uh, if there is no mention of these iterations so you have to accordingly proceed i will tell you in the middle of it so what to do uh, when there is no mention of iteration so almost there will be given in the examination four iteration up to four iterations you have to carry out so first iteration i will take here iteration one i can write this first equation that is x1 that is first iteration is equal to uh, 17 so 1 upon 20 firstly 1 upon 20 is there then 17 minus instead of y you have to take uh, it is in mentioned in the question 0 comma 0 comma 0 that is first of all you have to take y value as 0 and z value as 0 so i will take 0 plus 2 into 0 is 0 okay so you will get this is 17 upon 20 your answer is 17 upon 20 if i just calculate in the kelsey over here so sorry 17 upon 20 which is equal to 0 0.85 okay so 0 0.85 is your x1 value okay next one is y1 y equation you have to see here that is y is equal to 1 upon 20 okay now then minus 18 minus 3 into x now this x value you, you are getting here so you have to put this value 0 0.85 okay plus z z you have to take again 0 over here in the initial condition okay so this is 0 so when you just calculate it in the calci part so calculation part is yours i hope you will do it okay so this is 1 upon 20 into uh, minus 18 
माइनस एटीन माइनस थ्री इंटू दिस पॉइंट एट फाइव ओके प्लस जीरो इज नॉट नीडेड हियर देन आई कैन अगेन ड्रा वन ब्रैकेट विच इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन पॉइंट माइनस वन पॉइंट जीरो टू सेवन फाइव सो दिस इज यूर वाई वैल्यू ओके देन जेड आइट्रेशन वन इज इक्वल टू जेड इक्वेशन इज हियर ओके सो जेड इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस टू इंटू एक्स एक्स वैल्यू इज ऑलरेडी हियर जीरो पॉइंट एट फाइव टू इंटू जीरो पॉइंट एट फाइव एंड प्लस थ्री इंटू वाई नाउ दिस वाई वैल्यू यू हैव टू टेक दिस वन सो वाई एट्रेशन वैन यू गेट सो दिस इज माइनस वन पॉइंट जीरो टू सेवन फाइव ओके वैन यू जस्ट कैलकुलेट इट यू विल गेट द वैल्यू लेट एस सी वॉट वी विल गेट सो वन अपॉन ट्वेंटी ओके देन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस टू इंटू पॉइंट एट फाइव ओके प्लस थ्री इंटू माइनस वन पॉइंट जीरो टू सेवन फाइव ब्रैकेट ब्रैकेट इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट वन जीरो एट ओके वन पॉइंट वन जीरो एट वन पॉइंट जीरो वन जीरो एट दिस इज यूर वैल्यू ऑफ जेड एट्रेशन सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट कंप्लीशन ऑफ फर्स्ट एट्रेशन नाउ यू हैव टू डू सेकेंड एट्रेशन माई डियर फ्रेंड्स नाउ लेट एस स्टार्ट द सेकेंड एट्रेशन माई डियर फ्रेंड्स सो दिस इज एक्स टू दैट इज सेकेंड एट्रेशन आई एम डूइंग इक्वेशन यू हैव टू टेक सेम ओके सो इक्वेशन इज एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉइंट ट्वेंटी वन अपॉइंट ट्वेंटी इन टू दिस सेवेंटीन माइनस वाई वैल्यू यू हैव टू टेक नाउ इट इज नॉट द इनिशियल कंडीशन नाउ आफ्टर वन आइट्रेशन वट विल यू गेट वाई वैल्यू एक्स वैल्यू जेड वैल्यू यू हैव टू पुट अकॉर्डिंगली सो एक्स वैल्यू वी आर गेटिंग हेयर जीरो पॉइंट एट फाइव ओके सो सॉरी दिस इज वाई वाई वैल्यू इज माइनस वन पॉइंट जीरो टू सेवन फाइव इन द इक्वेशन इट इज वाई फर्स्ट ओके सो वाई वैल्यू इज हेयर दैट इज वन माइनस वन पॉइंट जीरो टू सेवन फाइव ओके प्लस टू इंटू जेड जेड वैल्यू इज इन दिस एट्रेशन वन पॉइंट जीरो वन एट जीरो वन पॉइंट जीरो वन जीरो एट ओके सो आफ्टर कैलकुलेटिंग दिस दिस इज द कैलकुलेशन पार्ट आई होप यू विल डू इट माई डियर फ्रेंड्स सो आई विल टेक डायरेक्टली हेयर वैल्यू सो यू विल गेट वन पॉइंट जीरो जीरो टू फाइव of this x value over right right so y of 2 second iteration 1 by 20 so y is here you have to look upon the equation 1 by 20 minus 18 minus 3 into x x value you have to put this one 0.85 okay 0.8 sorry this now you have to take this x after second iteration you have to take x value here as 1.0025 so this will become 1.0025 plus 2 times sorry why equation is here so z is here okay so z value you have to take this one 1.0108 already calculated so you will get directly value 0.998 <coughs> after calculating in the kelc i don't want to make this video too long my dear friends that is why i am taking directly values over here then z of 2 z iteration 1 upon 20 now this is the equation So twenty five minus two times x x you have to take this one one point zero zero two five okay plus three y three times y in the z equation three times y minus y you have to take this value now minus zero point nine nine eight okay so you will get value as zero point nine 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 eight over here okay then uh, we will proceed for the third iteration iteration third is equal to x third is equal to what is the x equation here one one upon twenty So one upon twenty into seventeen minus y. Now you have to take this y value, okay, in the second iteration. So zero point sorry minus zero point nine nine eight, okay. Then plus two into z, two into z, two into z value. You have to take now this value, okay, zero point nine nine eight. Are you getting? Yes, I hope you are getting my points. So x three you will get here value as one after calculating. Then y. third iteration why third iteration is equal to 1 upon 20 okay into minus 18 minus 3 into x x value now you have to take this one okay 3 into 1 plus z z value is here 0.9998 okay i hope you are following so which is equal to you will get minus 1 then z of 3 is equal to 1 upon 20 into 25 minus 2 into x value you have to take this 1 plus 3 into y y value is here minus 1 over here right so after calculating you will get here one value okay <clears throat> so after uh, last iteration 
I will take fourth iteration over here. So x of 4 is equal to 1 upon 20. So you have to look upon again the equations 1 by 20, 17 minus y value. You have to take now this one into minus 1, okay, plus 2 into z. So 2 into z is here, 2 into z value. You have to take 1. So after calculating, you will get 1 again then y raised power 4 that is fourth iteration 1 upon 20 1 upon 20 into minus 18 minus 3 into x value now you have to take this one okay accordingly corresponding values you have to take uh, so this is i am calculating y so minus 3 into x plus z z value already getting here 1 so after calculating you will get minus 1 then z of fourth iteration is equal to 1 upon 20 so this is 1 upon 20 into 25 minus 2 into x value here 1 plus 3 into y y value is minus 1 here okay after calculating you will get 1 so you just observe my dear friends in the third iteration and fourth iteration we are getting same values 1 minus 1 1 1 minus 1 1 sorry 1 minus 1 1 okay so when you get these type of iterations in which the values are getting same so that is the final solution of the problem so you have to start stop here the iteration part so you can write simply this x value is x is equal to 1 this y is equal to minus 1 and z is equal to 1 over here so this is the complete solution of the gauss seidel method i hope uh, this is a simpler one my dear friends only thing is you have to do the iterations until you will get the same values of x y z that is your uh, complete solution of this particular problem so this is seven marks my dear seven marks or eight marks question will be in the video examination so practice uh, uh, three to four problems from this concept so that it will be crystal clear for you people so thanks for watching my video